And good morning, family and friends. I pray you're blessed this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day, although there is some potential weather for this day and looking forward to some potential weather on Monday as well. And if you know me well, you know I love snow. Uh, so a few flurries here and there, maybe mixed with rain will be okay, but I would like to see at least one good snow. And you may be saying, oh no, but uh, come on, let's have one good snow and then uh, hopefully we can have it behind us and begin spring. So I pray that you're well today. I uh, pray that you're blessed. Uh, please know uh, that at the close of this week, uh, we appreciate your patience for understanding our uh, closing the church. Uh, thank you for all your calls, your emails, your text, um, uh, questioning uh, how our staff is, uh, particularly Suzanne. Uh, we're so appreciative of your care and your love and support of each of us as uh, your pastors and staff. And uh, uh, we pray for you all as well. And so just be blessed today. Um, I'm thankful for the body of Christ. Um, it's uh, so important to know that we belong uh, to uh, such a loving community, much larger than uh, our own selves and our family, but a large community of faith. Uh, so thank you today for your love, concern, uh, and please know that you're loved as well. I wanna share with you this Friday morning an encouraging word. Um, it it's, it's, uh, reminds me of my own childhood and the ways that I've been uh, perhaps raised in my thoughts around my behavior and what uh, people expect of me. Um, so thinking about a brand new year and, and thinking about what's before us in this year and uh, some of our own hopes and perhaps resolutions for this year, uh, namely around who we want to be as people, not so much about what we look like. We want to be healthy uh, about who we are. We may want to um, be uh, thinking about things about uh, ourselves we want to change or see change. It could be our temperament. It could be uh, our patience. It could be um, just the way that we love and appreciate others. It could be a, a deeper faith. Uh, so whatever the year may hold for us or what your uh, dreams are for this year or perhaps your New Year's resolutions, I would invite you to find some hope in this word uh, that God offers us today. It does come from the Bob Goff book that I've mentioned for the past year, uh, Live in Grace, Walk in Love. And it's um, the title of the devotion I want to share with you today is God doesn't want us to just behave better. He wants us to be His. God doesn't just want us to behave better. He wants us to be His. And the scripture text is 1 John 3, 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that we are His. When I was a, when I was a child, says Bob Goff, it seemed the adults in my life, teachers, community leader, and sadly sometimes my own parents, liked me better when I was good. And I get it. Who wants bad behavior? I learned that if I could bring myself to sit still, stay quiet, and wait to pass notes when my teacher was at the chalkboard, everything went more smoothly in my life. We didn't learn better behavior, just better tactics at our behavior. When I hit the mark, when I hit the mark, should I say, I didn't feel like such a nuisance. I felt like it was exactly what people wanted me to do and be. And I wanted to feel wanted. Who doesn't want to feel wanted? The sense of pressure to perform is really difficult. It wasn't intended this way, but the things uh, seem to go better if we, in fact, behave better. Uh, so one of our biggest fears about our behavior is that perhaps we're not loved. If we misbehave, we're not loved. How we act uh, is how we truly appear, and do people really accept us for that? We're loved if we make life easier for the people around us, is what that kind of understanding teaches us. We're loved as long as we hide our mistakes. As long as we're not an inconvenience to others, we're loved. Then we may earn acceptance, and you know what? Eventually we'll belong. That's what's warped about transactional love, says Bob Goff. We secure it as long as we hold up our end of the bargain. Here's the thing. God already took care of that for us. He said we're loved and we belong because we are His. God says it doesn't matter whether we lose the game with a strikeout or we hit it out of the park for the win. We're loved. He's not keeping score in the game because He already secured the win for our eternity. God doesn't want us just to behave better. He wants us to be His. We're already in, exclamation point, says Bob Goff. We are already in. Can we just receive that without figuring it all out and the reasons it shouldn't be so? You and me and the people who get under our skin, all of them, the people that bother us even the most, God said, 
you're already mine. I've purchased you with the price. Now go live like you belong. What could you change or would you change as Bob Goff if you really believe what God says about you? So what would change for us in this year 2020 if we really believed what God said about us? Meaning, it's not about your behavior that God loves you. He already loves you in spite of your behavior. But when we understand that deep abiding love of God, it begins to transform our behavior. And so this today, as we think about this day, this weekend, this year before us, what is it that would change in our lives if we really believe what God says about us, that we're His, that He already loves us? So I believe, I know for my life, in fact, that that does change my behavior. Uh, I want to love like I've been loved. And so my prayer for you today is that you would begin to believe, like I have, that God truly does love us. And what He says about us is true, and that should shape our living of today and tomorrow and our future and whatever the year holds. Um, so be encouraged today, church. I want to share with you a couple of uh, prayer concerns we do every Friday. Uh, but in this week, we know that there are prayer concerns around health and uh, sickness in our body here among our staff. But we also received note that um, Haley Cole and Elizabeth Cole's grandson, Randy, uh, passed away unexpectedly, very tragically uh, this week. The family is gathering tomorrow on Saturday morning for his funeral in Northern Virginia. Uh, so we left Jeff and Donna Cole and their family, extended family, Haley and Elizabeth, uh, to the Lord for prayer today for um, uh, just a peace and just a comfort in knowing that uh, God is with them in this very difficult season. And as well, we received note this week that uh, Mary Barker, uh, the sister of um, Linda Taylor, sister-in-law of Jim Taylor, uh, uh, also passed away. And so we want to pray for her family, John, her husband, and the extended family, her children and grandchildren, and for Linda and Jim uh, in this very difficult time for God's peace um, to be an overwhelming presence in their lives. And we want to lift all the sick before the Lord. We know that there are many in our church who are suffering uh, as a result of COVID and are, are better. Uh, Suzanne, the Tinsleys, uh, the Tyler family. Um, I'm going to continue to pray for Barry and Susan Iglehart, for Roy Hartless, his sister. Uh, uh, There's so many prayer concerns. Um, hopefully you received the email on Thursday that lists those needs. And I pray that you would just join me today in giving God praise for uh, his word uh, that, that tells us who we are and that we already belong and uh, the words of promise that he is with us uh, even in difficult times. And so join me as we uh, pray, uh, praise God and pray today uh, committing these things to the Lord. Let's pray together. God, you are indeed, indeed good and we're thankful. We thank you that you have heard our praises already in this day as we were awakened to a beautiful day. Uh, a day that you have gifted us with, Lord, a day to serve you, uh, a day to be found faithful as you are faithful. So, Lord, in this day, our, our goal in our life is to point others to your incredible love and grace and to praise you, Lord, that you have loved us, that we belong already in spite of who we've been, and that your transformative love is at work in our lives today. Lord, we thank you for the ways that you have made yourself known, and we as well lift the concerns of our heart. Lord, the Cole family, the Barker family, all those who are struggling with sickness today. Lord, we pray for those who are encountering financial difficulty, those who have great fear and anxiety today. Lord, those who are um, depressed and so um, worried about what the year holds. Lord, the political situations, the coronavirus, all these overwhelming realities. God, we commit those to you now. And God, invite that you hear the praises and prayers of your people. We love you and we thank you for who you are and for whose we are. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Church, I would invite you to know that we will gather on Sunday morning for virtual church. Uh, be reminded that our church office is closed until Monday the 11th, this coming Monday. Uh, out of precaution, uh, we have decided to have a online format for worship only this week. Uh, you will find our worship beginning at 11 a.m. on both YouTube and Facebook, so I invite you to join me there as I will lead you in worship on Sunday morning. Uh, please know that on uh, Monday morning the 11th that our church office will open with a regular schedule. Um, so if, you, if your group is planning to meet next week, uh, please do so. If there's questions about uh, around the size of that group, please call the office and get guidance there. Uh, being reminded that we are limited to uh, groups of 10 and less uh, for those gathering here in the church. So um, thank you for joining in today. I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. Above all, know that you already belong uh, and that that transformative work of God in your life uh, is to be evident and be encouraged. We love you. We're praying for you and look forward to seeing you real soon. God bless you.
Bye-bye.